Yes, yes, yes. We are finally back. We are finally here. Yes, let me fix my hat. Because listen, man, this video right here, man. Finally. Y'all remember the video that I mentioned the Raspberry Pi in? I, I believe it was the ASR10 video. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. But I mentioned the Raspberry Pi in that video and a future project that I was going to do with the ASR and the Raspberry Pi. First, before I did that, I wanted to get an understanding of how I can even manipulate the Raspberry Pi. So the first project that I even wanted to do was the sampler box. I'm gonna have the link down in the description below for like, you know, every, you know, all of, all of how you get to that. When I was looking around on how to do this, how to actually install the software, or even, even get the Raspberry Pi like fully going, I couldn't really find no clear under, like, example or, or tutorial video on actually how to do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I spent a lot of time just being confused. I walked away from it and all of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like this video if you've done that too. If you got a Raspberry Pi right now and you just spent hours or days or months even trying to figure out like what is what is what how do i make this do what i want it to do man look no further man you know what i'm saying i got y'all man because i i i was wanted I, I too was looking around you know what i mean yes i too was looking around trying to find how to actually do this man how to actually make this work i'm about to show y'all man but before i do man don't forget to like don't forget to share this video and don't forget to comment either man tell me how you feel man tell me whether or not this video helps y'all, you know what I'm saying? And, and also, I gotta let y'all know, man, that this video is sponsored by WaxYard.com. WaxYard.com is where you can get the all-new E18... Oh, shit. <laughs> the all-new E18 condenser microphone, man. This is the black version right here, you know what I'm saying? I still got it upside down. <laughs> I had it upside down. Uh, this is the black version right here. We talking. This is actually what we doing the video on. This is the the uh, silver version, but uh, the one that I'm holding in my hand. This is the smoke version. So you can click the link down in the description below. Use the code. Get twenty percent off that thing, man. You know what I'm saying. But without further ado, man, let's get into this video, man. All right. So you got the Raspberry Pi out of the box. You you get ready to set it up and everything. Before you even like plug it in, this is what you want to do. You want to take that SD card that either came with it or one that you bought. You know what I'm saying. And if you don't know that you need an SD card, that, yes, you need a little a little SD card. You know what I'm saying. A micro SD card. You get on a PC or a Mac, whatever. Download the Raspberry Boot software like i'm gonna I'm put the link to that down in the description you know what i'm saying i'm gonna I'm put a step by step on how when and all of that you know what i'm saying then you want to actually plug that micro sd into your uh computer or pc i mean excuse me your computer pc or macbook or whatever put that in there you want to actually load the operating system on the raspberry pi now i'm gonna also have where you can get the Raspberry Pi operating systems at down below. It's nothing. I told you. I got y'all. As a matter of fact, for real, for real, if you're listening to the video, I can tell you. You can actually get some of this stuff from the actual Raspberry Pi website. I bet you didn't know that. I damn sure did not know that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you can get that from the Raspberry Pi website. So, after you do that, you got it all. Every, the SD card is loaded. You know what I'm saying? You want to put it in the Raspberry Pi slot, you know what I'm saying, where the memory card goes, the SD card goes. Now once you do that, you actually want to plug in a mouse, a keyboard, you know, it's a computer, you know what I'm saying, so everything that you need to run a computer, plug in a mouse, a keyboard, and all of that stuff so you can set it up, right? Now, the next thing that you want to do, go through all of the updates that the Raspberry Pi recommends. It's going to prompt you to do a lot of this stuff do it you know what i'm saying go through all of the updates make sure you do that now once it's, once the raspberry pi itself is set up then you can move on to this step right here you want to open the terminal this is what i did this is this is how it worked for me i opened up terminal and then i opened up the web browser on the raspberry pi and i went to the actual sampler box website i'm gonna have that link down in the description below also you know what i'm saying because even on that website it don't even really show you how to install that software so we about to get into all of that now this is where it gets kind of weird at i'm not sure if you actually have to down as a matter of fact i'm yeah yeah you do you do actually have to download the uh sampler box software like um from from that download now section but see it's a it's a part 
that they don't make so clear. After you've downloaded it, you want to go down to the manual install. Like this, it's a if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of that page, it's a link. You click on that link and it'll take you to the source codes. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is where it gets fly. You want to go down that line and you want to copy and paste all of those commands into the terminal one by one you know what I'm saying and they make it simple too because if you if you hover over the box you'll notice that it's a little uh, clipboard and that's your uh, prompt to or uh, icon to copy it once you copy it you go over to terminal paste it into terminal and you'll see terminal start doing work baby you know what I'm saying terminal is installing the software terminal is is updating the software and all of that you know what I'm saying once it's done all you gotta do then is plug in a MIDI controller and the first sound that you should hear is a saw wave if you got if you got you know the speakers connected too because that's something else you want to do or some headphones or something but you want to you want to do that now they also recommend speaking of that they also recommend that you get a uh, external um, sound device you know what I'm saying it's not necessary but um, I did you know what I mean I did because I plan on actually making this into like an actual box right now I, I pretty much got it laid out on my um, my, my workbench but um, I plan on like really putting it in a housing of some sort I so so I decided to get an external sound device because I just want to get better sound quality but man if you just into like you know low super low fi you know or, or if you or you know what I'm saying just man you ain't got to do that <laughs> you ain't got to do that this is pretty much how it works this is pretty much all you need to make it work on the actual sampler box website they have all the sorts of sound sets that you can download and put into it which is super simple too i thought that was going to be hard like all you got to do is literally drag and drop the once you down you got to download it from the site once you download it from the site you have to unzip it you have to use some sort of unzipping software you know whether it be WinRAR or you know uh whatever unzip it and then drag that folder onto your uh, SD card, man. You know what I'm saying? And you own like a phone. I'm using an M Audio Oxygen 49 um, to, to test it out. And I can actually switch through the presets um, right on the keyboard. You know what I mean? I don't even I don't even need to build a housing, really. So, if, so that's the other thing. If you don't necessarily want to put it all in a housing and all of that, you want to just, you know, just have it set up, you know what I'm saying, as like a little secret thing on the side. Man, this is all you have to do right here. You know what I'm saying? Look no further, man. Like this video. Share this video. Comment on this video, man. Please tell me how much I've helped you. You know what I'm saying? And like the video and share the video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And subscribe, man. You know what I mean? This your man Frank Dutch right here, man. Y'all be cool how y'all be cool, man. Peace.